Hey guys, what's up? It's Steph Graphics. Today I'm going to make a kind of tutorial on how I make my shadows um, in Photoshop for my designs. I use shadows in every single design that I make because it adds a lot more depth to the image, makes it look like the player's standing on something. If you're doing a manipulation, it totally integrates it so much better. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys two different methods. Uh, one that I used to use, and then up until recently, I just started using another one, which is much more realistic. Um, so I'm going to call one advanced and one beginner, and you're going to see why I call them different names. Uh, so first let's take a look at this one right here. This is the first one. Uh, this is the advanced, and then this is the beginner. As you can see, the beginner is only one layer, and the advanced is three. So advanced takes a lot more knowledge of shadows and lighting, uh, but it looks a lot more realistic. Uh, I suggest using beginner if you've never used shadows before and you just want a, kind of like a quick look on the ground. Um, you can see over here we have another one. This is the advanced. Uh, this one actually is only two layers even though it's advanced and this would be the, uh, the beginner. I really don't like that one. I didn't do a very good job on that one. But anyway, I'm going to show you how we, we, we do each one. Uh, as I said, beginner's better if you don't know anything about shadows or Photoshop and I'm going to show you how we do it. So as you can see I have my layer right here. Um, so for beginner, we're going to do the beginner first. Uh, I'm going to control or command. I'm on a Mac so I do command and I click. You're going to see this like little box by the by the layer and if you click it you're going to get these, uh, they're called uh, ants or I think marching ants. It's going to show you your selection. So this is my selection right here and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down this, I, I've just heard it described as like a half moon and so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on solid color. Now, I already have it set to black, but if you don't have it set to black, you just drag it down to the bottom. You have black. Pretty simple. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my layer behind this. So this is my shadow layer. I'm going to name it shadow, and it's going to be behind this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform it. Uh, Command T, Control T, depending on what you're on, you're going to get this box here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to drag this square in the middle all the way down until it looks like he's standing on a floor. So that's basically where we're going to be at. And now we have a we have a pretty close shadow. Um, but if you ever look at a shadow, it's never like this defined unless it's incredibly bright outside. So I'm going to go to filter, and I'm going to go down to blur, and I'm going to go down to Gaussian blur. Now it's going to give me something, and I'm just going to press OK. This is just going to make it so that. You can no longer change the color, but that doesn't matter because sh all shadows are black. Uh, then typically you're going to choose a blur between 4 and 10. Obviously if you pick a big blur, it's going to go away. Um, and if you go uh, higher than 10, typically the blur exceeds the size that it's supposed to be and no longer looks like a shadow. It just looks like a lump on the ground. So I'm going to pick between 3 and 10 is what I suggest, depending on your image. I'll go around... Ooh. I'll go around four, four this time, uh, and that's my first one. And then I can adjust the opacity accordingly. That's a pretty simple shadow. Uh, I like it. Uh, don't love it, but that's our beginner shadow. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a. So that's our beginner. Now I'm going to do the um, the advanced version. This one, as I said before, takes a little bit more knowledge of lighting, um, but it's worth it. It looks a lot better. It makes your designs look a lot more professional. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my little toolbar here and I'm going to click on this like little page. It's going to create a new layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go press B. It's going to give me my brush and I'm going to create my brush so it's about the size of my canvas. Make sure it's not bigger than your canvas. I'm going to go to my brush panel. You can click this up here or you can right click. Make sure your hardness is at zero and you have a circle brush. Then you're, what you're going to do is you're going to click in the middle and we have basically a circle here. Now, I'm going to go back to my transform, so command T, and I'm going to shift drag that box like we did earlier. I'm going to drag it down until it's on the floor. Pretty simple. Same controls, and then you can just drag the shadow until it looks like it fits the foot. Boom, that's the first one. Now, we're going to duplicate that layer, command J. So now we have two. This is our uh, shadow one, and now here's our shadow two. Now we're going to grab our shadow 2, command T, drag it over to our other foot. Now, as you can see, the foots are different sizes. This foot is um, it's like this, and this foot it's like this. So that means the shadows are going to be different. So I'm going to 
drop the opacity of shadow two and make it a little bit thinner because the foot's angle is different. Um, this is something you got to take into consideration with every single design you use because every single shadow is going to be different. Um, the lighting is never the same. There's no blanket uh, thing you can do for each image. Then I'm going to do another layer. This is optional. You can um, do the same thing we did earlier, but we grab it. Now I'm going to put it in the middle of my two shadows. I'm going to stretch it out so we're in the middle. Uh, this is like, I'm going to put it under his body. So if if this lighting here, these shadows, the light is coming this way. So it's going directly down. This is where the light source is coming. So um, I want the shadow to be under him. So I'm going to make it under him. I'm going to rename this Big Shadow. And I'm going to drag it so it fits in just a little better. And then I'm going to drop the opacity a lot, around 30. Boom, there we go. We have a nice, solid shadow that's um, our advanced. And as you can see, it's a little bit nicer than our beginner, in my opinion. It makes it look a bit better. So anyway, those are two different ways to make shadows. Um, if you have any questions, you can direct message me on my Instagram or leave a comment, and I'll respond. All right, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new.